Imagine looking into a mirror that doesn't just reflect your face, but shows you the very beginning of time. A time when space, matter, and energy were only starting to form, setting the stage for everything we see today. This is exactly what the James Webb Space Telescope was built for. It looks deep into space to find light from the very first stars and galaxies, light that has been traveling for billions of years. Scientists had a clear idea of what they expected to see. They thought they would find a quiet, young universe, filled with gas clouds slowly coming together to form the first stars. But the telescope revealed something entirely unexpected. Instead of simple, unshaped clouds, it showed fully formed galaxies glowing brightly with stars and structure. These galaxies already had spiral arms, dense star clusters, and even enormous black holes at their centers. They looked like the kind of galaxies we expected to see much later in the universe's life. It was like walking into a nursery and finding full-grown adults instead of babies. These galaxies shouldn't have existed so soon, but the Webb telescope saw them clearly. More and more galaxies kept appearing in the telescope's images, and each one seemed older and more advanced than the last. This was surprising and even confusing for many scientists. Instead of seeing faint lights in the distance, they saw massive, shining structures that looked like they had been around for billions of years. But the universe was still very young at the time. Scientists once believed that galaxies needed billions of years to grow into stable, complex forms. But Webb's data told a different story. Galaxies were maturing much earlier than expected. Some of these galaxies existed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. That's extremely early in the life of the universe. This changes what we thought we knew about how the cosmos evolved. It means the early universe developed far faster than anyone had guessed. Even more surprising was what these galaxies were made of. They contained heavy elements like carbon, oxygen, and iron, materials that are normally created inside stars after many generations. For these elements to exist, stars must live, die in explosions, and spread their matter into space. That takes a long time, usually billions of years. But Webb saw these elements in galaxies that were only 400 million years old. That means several generations of stars had already lived and died by then. This is like finding an advanced city already built when construction was supposed to have just started. It means the building blocks for life could have formed very early in the universe's history. Then came something even more mind-blowing, huge black holes in the centers of young galaxies. One was over a billion times the mass of our sun. According to current theories, black holes should grow slowly over time. But this one was already massive when the universe was still in its early stages. Even the most advanced computer models can't explain how a black hole could grow so quickly. It forced scientists to consider new ideas and possibilities. Some think these black holes may have formed directly from giant collapsing gas clouds, skipping all the usual steps. Others think dark matter might have played a role. These aren't just small updates to science. They are discoveries that could rewrite everything we understand about space, time, and cosmic growth. Webb also found something floating in deep space that added even more mystery, organic molecules. These are the basic ingredients needed to make amino acids, which are the building blocks of life. What's strange is that these molecules weren't tied to any planet or star. They were just drifting in space, far from any solar system. This could mean that the ingredients for life were present almost from the beginning of the universe. That life may not be limited to Earth, or even to planets. Another strange discovery was the way some galaxies appeared in Webb's images. They were arranged in perfect, flower-like patterns, as if following a design. Some scientists believe this could be caused by gravitational lensing, where light bends due to the pull of gravity. 
Others think it could be leftover energy patterns from the Big Bang. But the shapes were so perfect that a few researchers wondered if there might be something more behind them. Could it be a sign of a larger pattern or design in the universe? This brings us to one of the deepest mysteries. In quantum physics, simply observing something can affect what it is. Just looking at the universe might actually be changing it. So when we see galaxies forming too early, black holes growing too fast, and molecules appearing too soon, it all points to a universe that is far more active and mysterious than we once believed. Webb's discoveries are forcing us to rethink the rules we thought governed space and time. Everything we once took for granted is now up for question. Maybe the universe isn't just a cold, random place filled with stars. Maybe it's a living story still being written, and we're just beginning to read the first few pages. Every new image brings more questions, but also more excitement. The deeper we look, the more wonder we find. And the biggest discoveries may not just be out in space. They could be in how these new truths change the way we think, here on Earth. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.